Some of us think of the Big Aussie V8 as an endangered species, and you'd be right. This Ford Performance Vehicle GTP is part of that dying breed. It's got a 5 litre V8 with a stonking great supercharger strapped to it, which means tons of power and tons of tyre destroying torque. The FPV GT is obviously based on the Ford Falcon. With this high vis vest orange though, it's quite easy to forget its humble base. The sticker pack and body kit are just the right balance of hooligan and restraint, if that makes any sense. And the whole package is very tightly put together. Inside is a leather trim cabin with most of the horrid bits of plastic either hidden or distracted by nice leather and stitching. There's an 8 inch screen with Bluetooth, USB and a sat nav with traffic alerts. The spectacular set of front seats don't fix the weird driving position. It's a bit high and you feel like the steering wheel is in your lap. The excellent dash remains basically unchanged but for the supercharger pressure indicator. The back seats are as big and comfortable as ever with plenty of head and legroom and more of the leather and suede. The cabin has lots of storage too and the boot is large although with that lumpy floor. The performance mods include some monster brakes gripped by these massive Brembo 6 pod calipers. They're fantastic, really strong. There's also a very shall we say loose approach to traction control, which means you can have quite a lot of fun without getting yourself into trouble. Obviously the heart of this car is its engine. Ford's motorsport heritage with V8s is almost mythologized, as is anything with a blue oval and a supercharger. Thanks to a two-mode exhaust, it sounds evil. Now, we wouldn't dream doing anything naughty on public roads, but I can tell you that the torque comes in all at once very low, because even on a dry road, this thing will spin up the rear tyres just for a moment to let you know it can do it, and then away you go again. This means you only need to tickle the throttle around town, but it also means it's quite a handful in the wet. It's no Jekyll and Hyde, but when you're puddling around, it's a really easy car to live with. In fact, you'd almost call it soft. The six-speed automatic transmission is terrific too. It doesn't even need to be knocked into sport, it's so clever. It's got a great interior, fantastic engine, and is hilarious to drive. I guess they figured if you're gonna go extinct, you may as well go out with a bang.